My name is Mandy Rosen and this is the first video tutorial I am sharing on YouTube. I am starting a new online photography school where you will learn everything there is to know about creative fine art photography. From how to create fabric dresses, how to levitate, how to photoshop, and so on. For now, I'm going to show you the before and after edit of this picture. This shot was taken at night after the sun had set. The exposure and or shutter speed was at 1 200th of a second, the ISO was 4000, and the aperture was 6.3 f-stop. It was taken late at night and the ISO was very high, so therefore the picture came out super grainy, which is more visible in the close-up. I don't really mind the graininess though, I think in this case it kind of adds a little something, a little special mood to the picture. This picture was a composite and is a combination of about 11 pictures or so. This is the original picture I used. If you look closely, and I'll show you a little close up here, the legs are different. <laughs> the good thing about having your camera on a tripod and taking a lot of pictures is that you get many choices on different body parts to use in the final picture. It may seem like a very complicated task to Photoshop in different legs, but it's actually quite easy, as I'll show you in this upcoming clip here. So this is the main picture I used for the final picture, except the legs are different. So now I'm going to show you how I Photoshop the legs onto the main picture. So let's go to the picture with the legs. This is the picture with the legs. So what you're going to want to do is grab the lasso selection tool. But if you wanted, you could also use this tool over here. Let me move that out of the way. Uh, the polygonal, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, lasso tool. That'll work also. But I just kind of like to use a lasso tool, so we'll use that for now. And basically what I'm going to do is draw a circle around my legs. It doesn't matter how big it is, really, because we're going to erase the edges later on. So pretty easy, right? So now from here, you hit control copy on your computer, and then you go to the main image and hit control paste. And then you have a separate layer now on your main image, which you can just kind of move around a little bit. So I'm going to move that as close as I can to the dress where it looks natural and just put that there in place. And now I'm going to create a layer mask by hitting this button on this layer on layer number one so there's your layer mask I'm gonna grab the paintbrush tool over here and this is to erase away at the edges and make sure it's on black down here it's always black on top white on the bottom when you're erasing away on the layer mask so I'm gonna make this paintbrush a little bigger So now I'm just going to erase away at the edges a little bit. And I'm not going to do a perfect job because I'm just kind of showing how it's done. And you can see that the legs behind me from the first picture are still showing. So we'll get to that in a bit. So just get as close as you can as possible. And you can change the hardness of your brush. If you go up here, you can see here's your size. It's a relatively small size at 30 pixels and the hardness is at 81% so it's a pretty hard brush which means the closer you get to the legs the more defined of a line the the paintbrush will be but if you make it a really soft brush say 0% then you're gonna kinda start erasing away at the legs a little bit which we don't want to do so we're gonna go back here to let's say 70% and erase away So to erase away the legs here, I'm going to bring in another picture from when I wasn't sitting on the dock, a blank picture, and I place it over the legs we want to erase away. Okay, so here's your blank shot, and the part I want to erase away of my legs is somewhere around here, so I don't need the whole picture, I just need the part I want to erase away. So I'm going to grab my lasso selection tool and make a large circle about around the area where my legs would appear and I'm going to copy and paste that onto the main image I am working on okay so now we have to move it into place 
So I'm going to lower the opacity of the layer a little bit by clicking here and just kind of sliding the bar down. And that way you can match it up a lot easier this way because you can see the background behind you and then you can kind of just move the picture into place. Which I'm not doing a very good job of doing right now. Oh wait, I think it's right here. Okay. Here we go. Let's see, is that pretty good? Alright, I think that's good. So now we can put the opacity back to normal. And this is what I do. So I'm going to create a layer mask. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, grab the paintbrush tool, and I'm just going to erase away at the whole layer. So it's not there anymore. And then we're going to bring it back just in the part where the legs are, because that's the only part that we want to erase. So now we're going to zoom back in on the legs and notice how I changed the color back to white. So it's white on top, black on bottom. That's how you paint back in. So now I'm painting back in the layer. And if I want to do the opposite, I hit the keyboard X on my computer and it would change it to black on top. But since we don't want black on top, we want white on top. I'm going to hit X again and it's going to switch it back. And now we're just erasing away at the legs we don't want. I'm going to darken the layer just a little bit to match it up more. But uh, we'll go over curves in the next video tutorial, so I wouldn't worry about that right now. There we go. The geese, or ducks not really sure which, were already sitting on the pier when I first sat down, so luckily I got the pictures of them in the first couple of shots. I composited them into the final image in the same way I composited my legs. Now for the splashes. Since my camera was on a tripod, it was easy to move the splashes onto the main image. All I did was use the lasso selection tool to draw a circle around the water splashes, hit control copy, then hit paste on the main image I was building off of. All the different splashing pictures will match up perfectly on the main image since my camera was on a tripod and therefore everything was shot exactly in the same dimensions in the same location. To be honest, when I first uploaded these pictures onto my computer after shooting them, I almost just deleted all of them. The pictures looked so dark, and I didn't think there was any way I could salvage them. Then I started experimenting with curves and brightened them up a lot and made softer tones to the image. That is the beauty of editing to me. You just can't give up. If you play around with something for a while, you can almost always make a picture into something as long as you keep trying and experimenting. All of this information is on YouTube for free, but for $19.99, you can also purchase the DVD along with the 50-page packet. The 50-page packet covers the following information. A list of recommended photographers, how to create fabric flowy dresses, how to levitate, how to become fluent in Photoshop, how to get inspiration and think like an artist, where to buy vintage clothing, and so much more. What the DVD includes is this tutorial, the raw images used in this tutorial, along with two additional before and after edits that I will never publish on the internet. They'll just be on the DVD. You can contact me at mandynikon at gmail.com or message me on Facebook. Also, if you decide to make a picture based off this tutorial, email it to me and I will upload it on my Facebook fan page under the My Students Works album with a link to your social media sites in the caption. Thank you so much for letting me be your teacher for the day and I hope these video tutorials will be a source of learning and inspiration for you.